Are you running Facebook ads but not seeing sales? We've all been there, but you don't have to get stuck there. Today, I'm going to tell you about a powerful tool that can take your Facebook ads to the next level. Rights free drum roll sound effect, please. You're gonna add this in later, right? Ladies and gentlemen, the Facebook pixel. Hey everyone, it's Jessica from Oberlo, and today we're going to talk all about the Facebook Pixel. I'll tell you what it is, how it works, and how it can drive traffic to your store. But before that, I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook Pixel. The Facebook Pixel is a powerful analytical tool. It comes in the form of a code, which you place on the back end of your website. Sounds simple, right? What the code does, however, is anything but simple. Let's set up our own Facebook Pixel so we can get to know how it works. We'll do this with screen recordings. So if you'd like to follow along, fire up a new tab and head to Facebook. Let's go. Let's start by going to the Facebook Business Manager page. Here we have our dummy Facebook Business account. Move your mouse to the top left of the page and click the Business Manager tab. We can find the Facebook Pixel under Measure and Report, right there in the middle, where it says Pixels. We're headed to this page. Our window may look different because we've created a few pixels already. You'll see a green button that says create a pixel. Click that. Now we both see this pop-up, which means we're almost done. We just have to give our pixel a name. We recommend giving your pixel a name that is linked with your business. Since we're using a dummy account, we'll just name ours Sir Pixelot. We'll put Sir Pixelot to work by simply hitting Create. The next pop-up shows us a few options for installing the Facebook Pixel. If you have a Shopify store, you can skip these options. Your next step is even easier. Click Cancel and go to the upper left corner of the screen where you see Pixel ID. Simply click this to copy the Pixel ID to your clipboard. Now let's head over to our Shopify store. Click Online Store and then Preferences. Shopify has made this incredibly straightforward. You literally paste the pixel ID into the field that says Facebook Pixel ID. Do that, hit Save, and voila! Your Shopify store is now connected to your Facebook Pixel. So now that you've installed the Pixel, how does it work? Think of the Facebook Pixel as a silent assistant on the shop floor. He's watching every visitor and writing down what they do as they move around the shop and browse your products. The assistant records all of his observations and then he hands his notes over to you. So what exactly has your assistant or in this case, the Facebook Pixel, recorded. Well, there are nine key data points called events, which the Facebook Pixel records. They are when a key page is viewed, such as a product page, when a search is made, when a product is added to the shopping cart, when a product is added to a wish list, when a person enters the checkout flow prior to completing the checkout flow, when a payment information is added, when a purchase is made or checkout flow is completed, when a sign up is completed, when a registration form is completed. That's a ton of data. So how do merchants use this information. One of the best things you can do with your data is segment your store visitors. For example, you can create one group of visitors who completed the add to cart event, but did not complete the purchase event. Let's call them browsers. You can also create another group of visitors who completed the purchase event. These people have spent money in your store, so we'll call them customers. Thanks to the Facebook Pixel, you can stay in the minds of your browsers and your customers with retargeting ads. Retargeting is a cookie-based technology that uses a simple code to follow your audience around the internet. A retargeting ad is an ad made specifically for these groups. The groups who have come into contact with your Facebook Pixel will see your retargeting ads when they browse online. This is true whether they're browsing on Facebook or on sites that fill their vacant media spaces with Facebook ads. With your Pixel data, you can create hyper-targeted ad messaging based on what you already know about your target groups. So let's take the spenders group as an example. You already know that they're willing to buy from your store, so it makes sense to advertise a new product to this group. But leads, the group that didn't buy anything from your store, might be indifferent to a new product. No problem. With retargeting, you can create different ads for leads. This ad might announce that the product they were looking at last week has been reduced by 25%. That's a much more compelling offer for this group. But wait, 
the Facebook Pixel doesn't stop there. One of the coolest things about the Facebook Pixel is that it enables you to show ads to people who would probably like your store. These are the people in the so-called look-alike audiences. For example, if all of your customers are men from the East Coast between the ages of 35 and 45 who like traveling and the outdoors, Facebook will find other people who have these characteristics. In other words, Facebook looks at your shoppers and then finds other people who look like your shoppers, hence look-alike. If you want to learn more about the Facebook Pixel, check out the link to our blog below. We've got tons of tips to help you make the most of this powerful tool. To summarize, the Facebook Pixel is a clever, easy, and effective way to boost your marketing strategy. It allows you to get your ads in front of the right people with the right message. But there's one important thing to know. Using the Facebook Pixel doesn't guarantee sales. Nothing does. Everyone has to roll up their sleeves, experiment with marketing tactics, and use every resource possible to get their sales numbers up. Everyone. Tell us. Have you used a Facebook Pixel? How did it impact your business? Leave a comment below and let me know. I read everything and I love getting back to your comments. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful and you want more e-commerce tips, click subscribe. Until next time, learn often, market better, and sell more.